everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing the Stray Kids Daikon Di Festa photo book. This was released in collaboration with Dispatch for some sort of concert exhibit kind of thing. I'm honestly not really too clear what it all is. I know there was concert footage filmed because a teaser did come out for that and I believe that was filmed around the time of Thunderous era for Stray Kids. But I'm not sure if the full concert footage was ever released. They also had some kind of exhibit in Korea earlier this year and a few different merch items released such as this photo book. The whole DFES the thing featured a few different artists. I know some other ones included were TXD, BTS, but Stray Kids was the only one I was really interested in getting merch for and I did not get all of the merchandise. I only purchased this one photo book. They did release the photo books in different versions. There was one version for each member of each participating group, but the only differences were the cover image and then I believe the photo cards that you get with it. The actual photo book still features all of the members. That is why I only got Hyunjin's instead of getting my whole bias line because as you can see by the outer box, this is a big photo book. This thing was not cheap. I think my copy cost around $65, and that was from Music Plaza with a free shipping coupon. So I'm sure the price could be even higher depending on where you purchased from. I do normally try to collect my entire bias line for Stray Kids items I purchased. That is Hyunjin, Felix, Chongun, and Chan. But because this isn't a proper Stray Kids merch item, it's a collaboration with Dispatch, who I'm not a huge fan of historically, I opted to only get Hyunjin's and then perhaps if I find the other members' photo cards for an affordable price, I may try to pick them up. Otherwise, I may just stick with only having Hyunjin's. I have been trying to scale back some of my photo card collections a bit, so this may prove as an opportunity to do that. Um, but it comes in this cardboard box, and I think this is just supposed to be like a packaging thing. I don't necessarily think this is part of the photo book, considering it's got like care instructions for the packaging here. I did receive this inside of another box from Music Plaza. It wasn't just shipped like this, but... I am wondering if that was the intention behind this packaging. It is quite big. And my cardboard packaging did get a little bit damaged here, but simply due to size reasons, I'm probably not going to keep the cardboard. So that doesn't really bother me. And of course on the front it says Stray Kids Hyunjin Daikon Di Festa. Uh, the back is just plain. And it opens up with this little flap here. Oh, of course I'm turning it the wrong way. And with that open, we can get a better look at everything that comes inside. Again, I'm not really a fan of Dispatch, so I wasn't originally planning on getting anything from the DeFesta merchandise, but I am a sucker for photo books, and Stray Kids is probably my number one alt group at the moment, so I could not resist this item. And you do get a few extra items in addition to the photo book. You get this set of stickers here. So it looks like you get four sheets of stickers, which is more than I was expecting. Got, they're like, okay, of course they're transparent, so they're going to be difficult to see. Um, here we go, that's how we'll do it. So this one, oh, of course I have them backwards also. So this one looks like we've got little drawings made by the members. This one is just some plain circles. They're pretty though. I imagine these are meant for deco purposes. And there it says defest the deco sticker at the top, and I know that has been a bit of a trend lately. So these are different hearts and star shapes. 
they have four stay on them, which makes me wonder if some of the members drew these. And then finally, oh, this is the coolest one to me. It's just one big sticker, I'm pretty sure. But this was artwork that the members did. I remember seeing behind the scenes clips of them making this. It's like a big wall mural. So that's really cute. I love seeing that translated into a sticker form. A little dwakey. I want to say Hyunjin drew that, but I could be wrong. It's very, very cute. I, I really do like that sticker a lot. Alright, now let's take a look at the other two inclusions you get besides the photo book. You get a set of photo cards, and these are member specific. They do match the member whose photo book you got, which I greatly appreciate. I was sorely tempted to get Felix's as well, because his photo cards also look really cute, but with how expensive these photo books are, I just could not justify it at the time. But again, these are from- well, this one's more recent. This one was from the exhibit thing earlier this year. This was back in the spring, right before they left for their Maniac World Tour, because this was the hairstyle Hyunjin had for most of that tour. He dyed his hair a darker brown um, just before their shows in Anaheim. But that's really cute. I did go to that tour, so it's nice to have a photo card with that hairstyle. And we've got signatures on the back, which is very nice because JYP photo cards don't always include those. And then this one is from the actual photo shoot for this photo book. Very, very cute photo card. I love the little cowboy hat. And of course, this would have been sometime after Domino promotions with Hyunjin's shorter dark hair that he had very briefly. And the backs are all the same, so I won't be showing the rest of those. And then this is from the concert footage I mentioned, the D Festa concert footage. So this was Thunderous Era before the haircut. Again, very, very cute card. And then we've got another one here from most likely a music show, or this could have been for the D-Festa performance as well. I'm not really sure. But yeah, Thunderous was a very, very good era for Hyunjin, in my opinion. So super happy to have more photo cards from that. And then you get this group photo card with all of the Stray Kids photo books. This is from the photo book photo shoot again. They all look so adorable. And Stray Kids don't- oh, I just realized I was holding that off camera, sorry about that. But Stray Kids don't do a lot of group photo cards. So this is very, very cute and I'm super happy to have this. And it has all of their signatures on the back, which is just absolutely adorable. Very, very happy with that inclusion. So I will say, just with the photo cards and the big photo book alone, I definitely think you get your money's worth with these. Especially for a member like Hyunjin, who like a single Hyunjin photo card, depending on what it is, can cost you 50 or more dollars. His photo card pricing is insane <laughs> these days. But you also get this little deco book, which I imagine this is what the stickers are supposed to be used for. So you've got these little drawings on the front from all of the members, and little handwritten messages in Korean. So you've got Chan, Lino, Changbin. Oh, you can barely see his little dwaky illustration, but it looks so cute. And then Hyunjin's. I love Hyunjin's art style so much. On the back, we have the other four. We've got Han, who did this little portrait of Dwaki Changbin. It's like the head of Dwaki and then like a buff body for Changbin. Very adorable. And then Felix. Oh, these are all so cute. I love that the last three are like different forms of stick figures. So Felix did stick figures, Sungmin did stick figures, and then Ian also did stick figures. So here is our deco book. So here it says, 
play with Stray Kids. And oh, it has photos. I did not expect this. So this is actually like a whole other photo book as well. It looks like very fun. So this I'm guessing is when they did the artwork from the stickers perhaps. So it says artwork here. Yeah, I think that is what's going on. So start off with Chan. Very, very cute. Then Lino, and we've got like some blank spaces here for you to draw or decorate as you wish. Changbin. Tianjin. Oh, I think he did make the Dwayne King because he looks very proud of it there. Oh, interesting. It looks like they did this art the same day they shot the performances. Got Chisung. Oh, Felix. So cute. Sungmin. And I in. Oh, and here's another look at that artwork they made. Very, very cute. And then just some more pictures, and then we've got some blank pages for you to decorate as you wish. Where it says diary decoration. Oh, I see. So this is the thing where they, they drew for the cover. Very cute. Oh, man, this makeup is so pretty. All the glitter. Yeah, it really is neat how they give you the pictures and then like show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of them making them. Hyunjin is so pretty. Yeah, I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> Jisung's artwork is so funny. A natural comedian. Oh, he's so cute. The behind the scenes of the Polaroid. So precious. Yeah, I don't know what I expected from this inclusion, but I didn't expect it to be a whole extra photo book. This is really fun. And we've got something written in Korean. I unfortunately don't read Hangul, so I'm not too sure what that says. And we've got a better look at these. And it's interesting how I set this up. They have like perforation guidelines, like telling you to cut these out. Almost like they want you to like paste them in there. But interesting that they didn't just put them there. I guess it's that DIY thing that's been like really popular, I feel like, in K-pop these days. <laughs> We've got a new section here, let them play. I wonder what this will entail. Well this looks incredibly ominous. <laughs> this background. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, I think this is the set from the photo shoot, perhaps? <gasps> okay, hold on. I see what's happening here. So, they have these cutouts of the members in two different outfits, it looks like. And it looks like you're supposed to cut them out here and then either tape them in or, like, use them like little paper dolls to, like, act. That's really, really cute, actually. And I really like this picture of the set. That's a really gorgeous background. That's actually a super fun idea. We've got Chan. Lino. Changbin. Oh, these are both action poses. Hyunjin. Again, I'm a broken record, but so pretty. Jisung. <laughs> He's so cute. Felix. Those extensions were such a look. I kind of miss 
Felix extension era. Seven. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of a goofy pose for Jonwin. And then a new section, memory room. I love these photo style pictures. Photo style pictures, that sounds silly, but I mean like the, the frame, like a printed photo. <laughs> these are cute. I guess these are just more behind the scenes pictures from the D-Festa thing. Oh look, it's another background you could put the little Stray Kids paper dolls in. <laughs> oh, yep, see, here we go. Here's more <laughs> paper dolls. That's really cute. Yeah, I'm surprised. I've never really seen something in K-pop like that before. That seems like a really fun inclusion idea. Yeah, I... Honestly, I expected this to be more like the journals and season's greetings with like a lot of just blank pages to write on or draw on and then like a few pictures throughout at that. It was so much cuter and so much more fun than I expected it to be. And finally, last but not least, we have the giant photo book itself. And when I tell you this thing is giant, I mean it. That is my hand. For comparison, and I know everybody's hands are different sizes, so let me also get a Maxident album for comparison. Yeah. This thing big. <laughs> and this thing, eh, it's about two Maxidents, or maybe one and a half Maxidents width bars, but it's quite, quite large. And as I said, I did get the Hyunjin version, so I have Hyunjin on the cover, and it is lenticular. But it doesn't appear to be a shifting image, really. Like, a lot of lenticulars will shift between two different images, and this looks like it's just the same one, and it just gives it that interesting 3D effect. So let me get this plastic wrap off so we can take a closer look at it. I don't think it'll show up well on camera, but the cover is super trippy in person. Because it is just the one image, but it does have a slight shift from one side to the other. Or maybe it is a slightly different image the more I'm looking at it. It does look like maybe the eye. I don't know. I can't tell if it's a very slightly different picture or if it's just shifted a little to one side. It's kind of trippy in person. It does have kind of a 3D effect. I do worry a little bit about the longevity of this piece because it kind of looks like they just took the lenticular and just stuck it right on the top of the hardcover photo book. So I'm not too sure how well that'll hold up over time. Hopefully it'll hold up pretty well though. But as you can tell from this cover picture, this photo shoot would have been taken sometime in the fall of 2021 between the end of Thunderous promotions and the end of your music shows when Hanjin waits to get blonde again. This was that very, very short-lived, short, dark brown hairstyle. And it's kind of funny because, of course, now Hanjin's hair is short once again. I actually did enjoy this short haircut. I thought it was very, very cute on him. And then on the spine, this is a D, D icon, Stray Kids, Hyunjin, D Festa. There is a tiny little bit of damage to the back of my photo book, but with something this large, that's just gonna happen in transit, most likely. On the back, we have this group picture that I presume would be the same for all of the different versions. This is D Festa 2022, Dispatch Magazine. I did not even know they had a magazine, to be honest with you. And there it is on the side. These outfits are very interesting. I really like Felix's though. It's very bizarre, but something about his I just really enjoy. But yeah, because of the size of this, I knew it was gonna be worth the money, even if some of the outfits were a little bit questionable because I love a large photo book like this. I will say, opening it up, it is not at all bound how I thought it would be. 
see, this is not a typical hardcover photo book where the spine is attached. Can you see that? I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but that's so trippy. But it's actually like a separate softcover photo book just attached to the back of this hardcover binding. Interesting choice. Again, I'm not sure how that will hold up over time. I do like the nice black cover page. It's very pretty. We've got Stray Kids Kenjin embossed in silver there. Very gorgeous. And I'm going to try to show this well, but this is a very large photo book, so it's probably going to take some trial and error with the camera angles. So I apologize for that. Here we say Daikon Difesa 10 Years of Dispatch. So that's what this is for, was their 10 year anniversary. Not sure why they chose to make that picture so incredibly tiny right there. But we've got some more black pages, it says Stray Kids, and we've got a little message in Korean, and then their signatures again. Very, very cute. Okay, so it looks like we're probably starting with some stuff about Dispatch before we get into the proper photo shoot. So we've got, looks like, some more messages here, either about or by Stray Kids. We can see, I think this was the exhibit they had in person, so some of the photos were displayed there. And here we've got some more pictures from that exhibit. And this is what that, um, that one more recent photo card is from when they went to visit this in person. And here we can see some of the other idols that were featured. Okay, so now it looks like we're moving into the photo shoot proper. So we've got this group picture. Romino stuck in the crease. Yeah, this is a little hard to finagle. We start off with Chan. Interesting hourglass he's got there. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the one um, ATs used for their lore. Yeah, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera because of him being in the crease. That's what I'm not loving about the way this is bound. It makes it kind of difficult to show the full page spreads like this. That background is so beautiful. I'm s just such a sucker for a good large format photo book like this. It's so pretty. Another picture with that hourglass. Oh, this is fun. We've got like a full body black and white shot here. Yeah, this is super pretty. This is like, I feel like a magazine photo shoot type of shoot. But you get a nice, large, hardcover photo book instead of just a magazine. That's kind of interesting. It's just like the top of his head. Very artsy shot. Next we move on to Lino. So it looks like they're all going to have a page like that where they're kind of in the crease. I feel like his outfit might be my favorite of the bunch. His is the most normal, I feel like. I really like his sweater. So pretty. Oh, do they all have the hourglass? That's kind of fun. So it looks like they're all going to have this black and white full body shot. Oh, the little beret! That's so cute. I think they put Mino in berets a lot, but they suit him, so it makes sense. Hmm. 
Interesting. So I guess they're all going to have a picture like this, but Minos is in color. Chance was in black and white. Next up we have Changbin. Looks like they had him in some hazel-ish contacts on this day. Not a huge fan of colored contacts on idols, but he does look very cute. Oh, he's not in the crease. Praise the lord, I don't have to move this giant photo book again. I like his pants. They're very fun. I like the paint splatter design on them. Oh, his hoodie's very interesting as well. I love when they dress Chogbin in soft outfits like this. He honestly is a very soft boy. Yeah, I guess they're all, all gonna have that little hourglass. Oh, that will fuel the Stay TV Wars. <laughs> Then we got Changbin's full body picture. He's so pretty. I really love that shot. So his eye picture is in black and white, so I guess they're gonna alternate. These are so close up, like you can see like the individual strands of hair. <laughs> Next we have Hyunjin. I think it's cute that they did the eye in lowercase. So, so pretty. I love his boots, of course. He's back in the crease. I complained about it, so I had to do it again. This set is so cool to me. He's just so gorgeous. Oh. I feel like that probably looks goofy on camera because of the crease, but that's a gorgeous picture. That really is. And I've got his full body shot. That's similar to the cover photo. I'm not sure if it's the exact one or not. Where is his modeling contract, JYP? Like, honestly, if they just gave him better pants, that would be such a good fit. They're too baggy. I think that's the problem with them. Got his close-up picture. This poor Imel is so faded over the years. <laughs> so, so pretty. Oh, I think those actually might be Hyunjin's natural eyes for once. They usually give Hyunjin colored contacts, so I always appreciate it when they don't. Next we've got Han. Oh, they gave him a chair. Is that a plastic? That is an interesting chair they've given him. I like his sweater a lot too. He looks very cozy. Try to move kind of quickly because this is such a big photo book, but I just know this is going to be super long unboxing anyway. He's so pretty and so cute. Did I see his full body shot? I did, I was just talking over it. Whoops. And the eye picture such an interesting choice of picture. I'm not really sure why they did that, but they did. And next we have Felix, who is wearing colored contacts, but at least they're a brownish shade. They love to put Felix in these blue contacts, and I'm not a huge fan of them. He's so pretty. Yeah, I don't know why. I love his outfit. I think it's it, something with the shorts and the long socks, and that crazy fun sweater. I just really like it. I do wish the shorts weren't brown. I think it could have been better if they were black, maybe. But his outfit's fun. I like a fun outfit. Again, where is his modeling contract? Is 
It was so long when they did this photo shoot, dang. Yeah, I think Felix owns this photo shoot. He really slayed here. Oh, wow. Like, you can tell he's wearing foundation because his freckles aren't, like, as noticeable as they normally are, but they are peeking through, which I appreciate. I'm glad that we don't see them completely covered up as much these days. Because they used to cake that foundation on when he debuted. And we got a full body shot. So, so pretty. I would really like to get his photo cards from this photo book, but I'm sure they'll be a pain to hunt down because Felix is popular. I mean, deserved, but gosh, his makeup is so pretty. Then we have Sungmin. outfit is relatively normal too. Just a colorful sweater and some black slacks. Very Sungman. Deep in thought. His full body picture. Yeah, this is a really nice photo shoot, honestly. <laughs> then the eye picture. And then, last but not least, our magne on top, Jongin. His outfit's pretty normal as well, actually. Just some neutral beigey tones. Oh, that is quite the pose you've got there, young man. Very intimidating aura in this picture. Oh my, what are these angles? Why is only Jongin getting pictures like this? I have questions. That is such a cool necklace too. The chains. And then the full body picture. I really like the way his outfit looks in black and white. Very striking. And like, I'm normally not a huge fan of black and white photos, but I really like the way they're used in this photo book. Kind of sparingly. It adds like a nice contrast to the very colorful outfits, I feel like. And then the eye picture. Oh, we get some group photos as well. I was not expecting that. Such a pleasant surprise. I feel like not that many photo books nowadays have a lot of group pictures, so we love to see it. That was one of my complaints with the Maxident albums. I felt like we didn't get enough group pictures on those. They're so cute. I will say most of these outfits do work better individually than in a group. I think it's because there's so many bright colors and patterns. Oh, so not that many group pictures, but we did get some. So it looks like we get some behind the scenes pictures here as well. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, wow. These, like, out of context, look like they could be some sci-fi movie posters. This is so cool to me. Oh, wow. I wonder what the actual context for these was. These are gorgeous. more stuff in Korean. 
Oh, these are cute. How they're like film strips. I think that's Felix taking the picture from one of his photo cards. I want that photo card. Very cute. We got a group picture here. Adorable. Yeah, you really get a lot in this photo book. I really thought it was just going to be the photo shoot from the cover, but you get all of this other extra stuff as well. Yeah, honestly, I know I keep saying it, I'm not a big fan of Dispatch as a company, but they really did put a lot of effort into this photo book and it shows. I feel like you definitely get your money's worth of this. And I hate to recommend a Dispatch product, but I would recommend picking up this photo book or one of the versions of it if you are a hardcore collector today because this is a gorgeous photo book. You even get behind shots from the main photo shoot. That's so fun. There were not enough pictures of me though in the beret. That beret is so cute. So it looks like you get one of these for every member. Oh, look at him. The cutest, the cutest. I just realized we hardly got any pictures of Jenny in the little cowboy hat. Serving. Serving. And then serving cuteness. <laughs> and then of course we finish with Sungman and Jongin. And I think... Oh nope, one more. Some more group pictures. Very, very cute. And then some credits at the back. Yeah, I do worry about how that will hold up over time because it does already look like it's in danger. But hopefully. Hopefully it will last. Because that is a really gorgeous photo book. But that is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.